in our last video i talked about uh, spain the purpose of spain now i will discuss in more detail about the use or the use of uh, spain in the web page so uh, let's start uh, suppose i have created block level uh, element like paragraph so this video in this video you will also know about the in adverb benefits or use of uh, span inside paragraph or block level uh, element like div so i for example write uh, hello paragraph one okay and i write section section okay. section 1 section 1 can be any section and I write hello I am paragraph 2 so uh, these two paragraphs are created but as you know paragraph is a block level element so uh, these are shown in two different lines so when this paragraph finish this one then started similarly section is also a block level element so when we we start another section okay suppose we start another section i am paragraph one of the section two i am paragraph one of the section two so section by itself is also a block level element so this one is uh, one block this one is another block so inside one block we have these two separate blocks so we have four blocks but are mapped to different sections so section one in section one both the paragraph will belong to same theme like the chapter chapter one all the contents of the chapter one belong to chapter one theme so the theme of all the contents inside chapter one is same the theme of all the chapters uh, all the contents inside the chapter 2 is, has the same theme etc so now the question arises how we make use of span so this will be discussed in css in quite detail that uh, uh, whenever we apply some property to this section for example so the properties are applied to all of these paragraph like color if we we select some color suppose i i write section for example if i write section and i write color right background color i write Okay, so this is not uh, identifier. So I'll write uh, color. So suppose we we wrote section background color of a section to be red. So this one is red. This one is red. So the space inside uh, these two section shows that these two are uh, different um, um, sections. Okay. So if we color the section then all the sections are colored if we color the paragraph for example if i write paragraph instead of section if i write p then all the paragraphs are colored red so these four color shows we have four different blocks now okay until it's until now it's okay we can color section laterally we can set id for this like id a id b we make color of id b a different from color of id b like we say id is equal to a for example and we make id is equal to b suppose okay if we write 
and we we say for example um, uh, for for uh, for id uh, selector this is id selector we write a okay and this one b Okay. So you can see if we write B, so all of these become red. So if we use the particular um, IDs like, sorry, this is section. We, we, if we write a section, so all of the section is colored uh, red, all of the, uh, both the sections. But I use the ID selector A and B. So uh, these are different differently so it's okay we can uh, make a particular block uh, background color and or any style can be applied, applied to any block like section paragraph with our choice but what about if we want to make this paragraph one as a different color this paragraph two as a different color this section as a different color so what about this so how can we make it different as you know this this uh, whole world is inside this line so remember that paragraph is a block because it it moves to the second line paragraph is a continue and can be in one line or can be in two lines it can be in five lines deep okay so a paragraph can be have many lines so it create a block but a character or a word inside sorry a word inside a paragraph is in line so we will use inline element for that so one of the inline element is the span we will use the span for this span we will use span this is both of these words belong to the block element paragraph but we will make it inside the span because we want to apply the uh, css properties we want to style these words with different colors fonts etc so we will put these inside the spans the effect is not shown because we have not applied any css property so we can apply it like we will write span and background color for example gray or green so i will make some more color and write green So I'll select some light color from this so that its effect can be seen. For example, I select this one. So I'll copy it from here and I will now you can see the background color of this whole paragraph, this whole sorry section whole section which contain both the paragraph is red and this one is yellow but these two words has a different uh, background color or we can say a color okay uh, we make the color only so only the color is uh, set this and paragraph one section one so this is the background color remains same but the, this is uh, more highlighted so we can make a, a different color for this okay suppose i i copy this to be here and one and make it red that is a dom dominant color so you can see the background color of this uh, whole section is now you can see different from this one section and inside we have two sub blocks paragraph one paragraph two 
paragraph one consist of one line but can extend to many lines and inside we have one uh, word which is a paragraph one and section one so with different colors and you can apply uh, the it will be discussed in detail laterally so you can apply font uh, size okay, to be 30 pixels close okay so you can then apply so this was all about the use of the uh, use of inline element uh, span inside the section or div or paragraph so we can use span inside uh div anywhere you want so thank you so much for watching the video thank you so much